nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another rugby related video. I'm going to do my best to teach you guys how to do a sidestep. Alright, we're going to call it how to do a sidestep like the pros. This is going to be a remake of my most popular video of all time in my library, how to do a sidestep like the pros. Um, looking back on that now, it was probably about two, two and a bit years ago and the way I talked to the camera, the way I portrayed things was not exactly how I wanted to do it. The reason I did that video was because I wanted to portray my sidestep that I've developed over the years and I've developed it through watching you know the the development of the game over the years. So if you look at a guy on the wing who, who does a sidestep these days it's gonna be really nice nicely executed um, he's gonna be fast he's gonna be agile you know, look at that 30 or 40 years ago, it's a completely different story. The, the side steps have come such a long way. And today, I'm gonna to try and do it again. I'm gonna try and teach you guys a step that you can use in a simple way. I'm gonna try and teach you guys a step I use all the time, it's very effective, and it really is only one move. Um, you just gotta practice it, and you gotta obviously do it at the right time in the game so it's effective. So, with that said, there's gonna be two parts to the step. There's going to be the foot that you jump off and there's going to be the foot that you step off, all right? Which is going to be opposite. So if you're going to step off your right foot, you're going to come into the step off of your left. If the same goes, if you're going to step off your left foot to the right, you're going to come into the step off of your right. So all it is, guys, is pretty much just a step into the air. You sort of hop in the air. Whilst you're in the air, that foot that you've leapt off comes back down and just before you bang in the opposite the opposite foot this foot will just scrape the ground all right it's, it's almost as if you bring it forward and just scrape it slightly before you do that really big step and all that's doing is just giving you a bit of balance it's making it look as if you've put both foot down at the same time in which case the defender can't actually guess which way you're gonna go right so let's let's try and let's try and do it do an example of that Okay, so we're coming through, we're stepping off the left, we're sort of hovering above the air, and then right at the last second, we'll go bang, like that, okay? Same goes if we're stepping to the right, we'll come off the right foot, at the last second, we'll be like bang, so to do. And basically, it's just a matter of getting better at it. But whilst you're in the air, you can start to add little shimmies, little shakes, so you'll, you'll develop the step the way that you want to do it, the way that it, it, it suits your body um, and that's what I've done so as far as the proper step all right if I'm gonna put everything into it hundred percent this is what it looks like stepping off my right foot to the left I'm gonna come off my left I'm gonna hop in the air and just as I come back down it's gonna be a left right so it's off my left and then a little left right off my left left right off my left left right so you're basically popping in the air faking that you're gonna keep going that way but then at last minute you go boof this way so the other side, off the left, left right, off the right, right left, so off the left, left right, off the right, right left. And that's pretty much it. I hope my second attempt has come across a little bit easier to understand. In my last effort, I tried to talk about what you what you did in the air with your hips and your knees and everything you know what you what you will do is going to be up to you but if you get these fundamentals of the footwork down okay those two little steps just before you step uh, it's going to make things a whole lot easier for you so i want to say good luck i want to say train hard eat well and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>